Hoffner in a 3-2 battle against Allenson. Here it is. And that misses, and they are stacked and packed. Locked and loaded for Gino Caperone. And we're going to have a pitching change as Dylan Hoffman goes to the pen. We'll take a short time out for Mesa. We've got drama. Park with a bases stack trailing by four in the ninth. So Dylan Hoffman goes to the bullpen and brings in right-hander Ben Weller. Only one on the season, ERA of 3.07. 14 and two third innings of work. Nine runs, five earned. Six walks with 14 strikeouts. He's trying to finish this one off for Doffner who was solid out of the pen for Camden Cooper. And both sides, this has been really a well-pitched game. Really difference in this one is three costly mistakes by the Buccaneers. One on a blooper by Kasten Choa that fell behind Blakeman, Siebold, and Rozier in center that played it two. Error by Lucky and Wright that brought another run and then the Siebold error which led to another run. Now it's Ben Weller and Caperone. Buccaneers shot in the gap, and this one gets really interesting. Caperone, one for four, singled in the first. On the season, stepped into this one, hitting 339. Four home runs, 43 RBIs. Takes one off the plate for ball one. Ben Weller under duress, bases stacked. And he misses with a bender, goes to 2 0. And you can hear the Park fans in the background. Rooting Gino on. Weller trying to find the zone. That time, he pumps the number one and takes it to two and one. Cap around, fifth in RBIs in the conference with 46. Fouls that one off, goes to two and two. So after falling behind, two and oh, Weller, couple strikes. They are loaded. Thomas at third. Rozier at second. Pinch runner at first. This one, skied left field. Wallet is there. That's going to bring in a run. It's now a 6 3 ball game, and Caperone just missed it. Just got under it a little bit too much, gave it a ride. But Park pulls within three. Now batting number 49, Henry Gale. 
Figueroa. So now it's Enrique Figueroa. Oh, for one on the day. Nick Miller on deck. Weller. Starts him off with the slow bender. So Weller keeps Caperone in the yard. Look like what might have reached the seats on the initial launch. Now it's Figueroa and this one bounced to third. And a third baseman unassisted on the put out and Weller nails it down and Westcliff on to the winner's bracket against Benedictine at 4 p.m. with the 6-3 win. And it started on the bump with Camden Cooper. Did a nice job, went four and two thirds, allowing two runs, two earned runs on seven hits and two walks. And then it was Kyle Doffner out of the pen. He went three and two thirds, giving up one run, one earned on two hits. And then Weller out of the pen. And Westcliff offensively getting a pair of hits from Malvini with an RBI. And as Park reflects on this one, they'll think back of the costly mistakes defensively. The Caleb Castanchoa loop single that fell behind Blakeman, Seabold, and Rozier that could have been caught. A misplay by Leckie in right field that led to another run, and then the error by Seabold at second base. So, it's Westcliff moving on and Coach Dylan Hoffman and his team. They roll the dice by giving Cooper the start. It pays off. They will face Benedictine in that 4 p.m. matchup. And for Park and Coach Kelly Stinnett, they'll be back at it at 7.30 tonight. And the loser of the upcoming matchup between number three Simpson and number two, Embry Riddle. More to come from Ho Hokum. Game two coming up at 12:30. Keep it locked. Keep it loaded. It's day one of the Cal Pack Conference Tournament from Ho Hokum. <laughs>